हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द क्लास वंस अगेन लास्ट क्लास वी स्टार्टेड विद रिलेटिव मोशन एंड वी अंडरस्टूड अबाउट द रिवर फ्लो प्रॉब्लम नाउ टुडे विल गो हेड एंड वी विल सी रेन मैन प्रॉब्लम नॉर्मली व्हेन यू आर स्टैंडिंग ऑन ग्राउंड एंड रेन इज फॉलोइंग यू होल्ड द अंब्रेला इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ रेन एज इट फॉल्स नाउ सपोज यू आर वॉकिंग और लेट्स से यू आर रनिंग यू नीड नॉट टू होल्ड द अंब्रेला इन द डायरेक्शन एज यू आर होल्डिंग अर्लियर यू हैव टू चेंज योर डायरेक्शन सी व्हाट आई मीन टू से सपोज Let's say rain is falling along this direction. This is the velocity of rain, and let's say it's falling, making an angle of theta with the vertical. Suppose you are still you are stationary and you are holding an umbrella, so you have to hold the umbrella as per the given direction shown. So you have to hold. You'll be holding the umbrella in this way. That means you have to hold the umbrella, making an angle of same. theta with the vertical as the rain was falling making an angle with the vertical now suppose if you are running or let's say if you are walking with some speed you haven't have to hold you do not have to hold the umbrella in the same direction what i mean to say let's say you started moving with some velocity let's say your velocity is vm that is velocity of man and now you have to hold the umbrella you will not feel you will not feel that the rain is falling with the same angle you will feel that this time you have to hold the umbrella in a direction different from what it was earlier let's say this angle is given by phi and rain will appear to you falling making an angle of phi that means this is the velocity of rain with respect to you so i'm marking this is velocity of rain with respect to man in this direction you have to hold the umbrella when you are moving with some speed now let's come to the initial case once again here the rain was falling i have given it a velocity vr now remember when we are moving when we are moving we need not to express the rain's velocity as vr we have to express the rain velocity as as you are as observed by you as vr slash m now let's see what kind of problems can come based upon this before that let's see the triangle rule that will ease the calculations by learning rain man problem now see actually the rain was falling in this direction this is the velocity of rain let us say you moved along this direction this is the velocity of man let's say you are moving in this direction now velocity of rain with respect to man is given by the equation as already i have taught you in the previous class this will be equal to velocity of rain minus velocity of man this will be the equation now you see If I want to do this vector subtraction, I have to take negative of velocity of man. That will be equal to this. This will be minus velocity of man. So if I want to find the resultant of v r minus v m, the resultant will be lying somewhere here. This will be the resultant of v r minus v m. Now let me mark the angles. The rain was falling at an angle of theta with the vertical. Finally, you have to hold the umbrella, making an angle phi. The angle with which you have to hold the umbrella that will be given as phi. So this is the angle that you have to hold the umbrella. Now, with this diagram, you will be having the idea of how to find out the angle with which you have to hold the umbrella with respect to the vertical. Let's come to a problem, which will. simplify our understanding let us say it is given that a man hold, has to hold an umbrella making an angle of 30 degree with the vertical so first information given a man holds an umbrella making an angle of 30 degree with the vertical holds an umbrella making an angle of 30 degree with the vertical making an angle of 30 degree with the vertical that means rain is falling rain is falling making an angle of 30 degree with the vertical now what he does he starts running he starts running in such a way that he feels that rain is falling vertically over his head he starts he throws the umbrella it's given that he throws the umbrella and starts running 
he throws the umbrella and starts running and starts running with a speed of 10 km per hour and starts running with a speed of 10 km per hour. See, it's given that now he finds rain is falling vertically on his head. It's provided the next statement is now he finds that as he starts running with a speed of 10 km per hour, he finds that rain is hitting his head vertically in the vertical direction. He starts running with a speed of 10 km per hour. He finds rain hits vertically over his head vertically over his head the question is find the velocity of rain first question is find velocity of rain and this is velocity of rain with respect to ground find velocity of rain with respect to ground or road you can think of that is also the right way with respect to ground the second question is find velocity of rain with respect to man so we the second question says find velocity of rain with respect to man this is the second question now how to do these two questions with this given data with this given information see here let's write the solution over here first part when he was standing still see how when he, when he was standing still this is his position and he has to hold the umbrella in this direction that is making an angle of 30 degree with the vertical that means rain is falling along this direction and rain is making an angle of 30 degree with the vertical so this is the velocity of rain in the given sense now in the second data the second data is given that he starts running and as he starts running he observes that rain hits his head vertically so what I'm going to do I'm going to mark man with a dot this is man let's say this is man and the rain is falling let's say this is the velocity of rain <coughs> This is velocity of rain making an angle of 30 degree with the vertical as he starts running. Now see he will start running along this direction. This should be the velocity of man. You will understand why. Now if you find velocity of rain with respect to man that has to be in the vertical downward direction. So we have to mark minus Vm. This will be somewhat here. This will be minus Vm. This is Vm. This is Vr. And Vr and Vm resultant, as I told you, velocity of rain with respect to man will be equal to velocity of rain minus velocity of man. So we find that since it's given that he finds that they are hitting him vertically downward direction. So this will be the velocity of rain with respect to man. Now we got this diagram. We got this, we have to evaluate what is the velocity of rain with respect to man and velocity of rain with respect to ground. Now from this diagram you see, velocity of rain with respect to man is the resultant of this vector and this vector. Now you see that the horizontal, there is no horizontal component on vr slash n, there is no horizontal component. So horizontal component will be cancelled out of these two vectors. We have to consider this and this vector. So there is no horizontal component. So horizontal component of this will cancel out the horizontal component of Vm. So that is, from this diagram, first thing you can make out, Vr and its horizontal component will be Vr sin 30 degree will be equal to Vm. This has to be the requirement as we can see in the figure. So therefore, Vr will be equal to Vm divided by sin 30 degree or we get Vm is equal to 10 km per hour. So 10 divided by sin 30 is 1 by 2. So 10 into 2, you will get 20 km per hour is the velocity of the rain 
that is the velocity of rain with respect to ground as we have marked this as vr we got the first information now the second information that we want that is vr slash m we want to evaluate this now vr slash m it will be equal to the vertical component of vr you can see the vr slash m is the resultant of this and this so this has to be equal to vertical component of vr so let us find out the vertical component of vr here let me rub this question hope you have taken down Okay, now use the concept of vectors and I have told you about the resolution of vectors from there you can use the concept VR slash M will be actually from the diagram you can make out this has to be equal to VR cos 30 degree and just now we have already evaluated the value of VR that is equal to 20 so it will come out to be 20 multiplied by root 3 by 2 this will be equal to 10 root 3 kilometer per hour so we got the velocity of rain with respect to man I want you all to take down till here and I will continue okay now I believe that this problem would entail you a better understanding of the concept of rain man problem usually many exams ask such kind of question based upon this let's say your competitive examination also like J and medical let's say the CBSC board also ask question based upon this now we'll see one more pattern of question that may be asked in some of the examination first one let us see let us take an example we have a car in which a man is moving there's a car it's an open car in this a man is moving he is driving actually this car. He is driving this car. Now, he finds that. This is an open car. This is an open car. He finds that rain is falling in the vertical downward direction. So, as he is still, the rain will be hitting him. It's an open car. So, as he is, the car is open, the rain will hit him vertically on his head. Now, he can drive this car up till some speed. Let's say VC. And let's say, speed of rain is vr now with respect to rain what is his speed so that the rain will not hit his head and it's also given that this height of wind pane is given as h and this distance is given as d this is provided now as he moves the velocity of rain will not appear to be in the vertical downward direction that will change what i mean to say with this see here as he moves the rain will appear to him in this direction this will be velocity of rain with respect to man just now i have told told you and this is velocity of car to be since we are using car here so i will use velocity of rain with respect to car it should be along this direction now rain was falling in the vertical downward direction but due to the motion of the car it will appear that the rain is falling in this direction let us say this is theta it will appear to him now the rain is falling at an angle of theta so this will be angle theta okay and it is given that this is was his head it's given that this is d and this is h therefore you can see from this triangle you can see from this triangle that tan theta will come out to be d by h let's write first this point tan theta is equal to d by h this has been provided to us in the given information now with what speed he has to drive his car so that he escapes himself from being wet by the train let's draw the triangle this is the velocity of car and this is the velocity of rain that was actually <coughs> with respect to ground now we have to mark what is the velocity of rain with respect to car so velocity of rain with respect to car if you see the formula is vr minus vc this is the formula so we have to do we have to just subtract vc from vr for that if i mark v minus vc along this direction If I take their resultant velocity of rain with respect to 
car will be somewhat like this. Now see, just now I showed you, this is angle theta, so this will be angle theta, and here you can make out from this, from this diagram that tan theta will be equal to, you see tan theta will be equal to velocity of car, you can see here, we can displace the vector parallel to itself, this will be also minus vc, so tan theta will be equal to vc, magnitude we are talking about vc and upon vr. So we got this, we got here tan theta was given as d by h and tan theta equals to vc by vr, we can equate both of them and we will get the relation of vc and vr. So therefore we can write equating both vc upon vr can be written as d by h, therefore vc comes out to be vr into d by h. Hence he should drive his car with this given speed so that he escapes from being hit by the rain or let's say he will not get wet if he drives with this particular speed, he can even increase his speed and again he will escape himself. The minimum speed with which he has to drive will be given by this formula. I want you all to take down till here and I will continue. Hope you have noted down the rain man problem and you would be having the understanding of how to solve such rain man problem with this example. Now we have completed, we have completed two parts, one the river boat problem, the river man problem and the second one that is the rain man problem. Let's practice some problem based upon our learning that we have done in two of the cases. Both cases are very important. So first let's revise, let's practice problem on both. First one let us say a river is provided and the width of river is 400 meter. So let us say a boat sails in a river with a speed of with a speed of let us say 4 meter per second normal to flow of river normal to flow of river this is given now it's given that it's given that the velocity of river flow is equal to 2 meter per second and the width of river is 400 meter. The width of river is, the width of river is 400 meter, the width of river is 400 meter and the river can flow with a velocity of and river flows with a speed of and river flows with a speed of 2 meter per second with a speed of 2 meter per second, we have to find out in how much time will he cross the river that is he will move from one point of bank to the other bank. That is the time that we require. So find first time taken to cross the river as usual as I have taught you time taken to cross the river. This is the first part that we have to do. And the second one, the horizontal drift, the drift in the motion or drift occurred while crossing the river. Drift occurred while crossing the river. Again, let's see how to solve this question. See here. The width of river is 400 meter. The width of river is 400 meter. So we will mark this width as 400 meter and he is sailing normal to the flow of river. So that is his speed, his velocity will be along this direction. This is the velocity of sailor or this is the velocity of boat. So VB is equal to 4 meter per second. The river is flowing at a velocity of 2 meter per second. So this is the velocity of river that is given as 2 meter per second. We have this given data. Now the net velocity, the net velocity of the boat with respect to ground will be due to the influence of both the velocity and the boat will be moving somewhere here. This is the net velocity of the boat. 